Good Day OK. Good morning and welcome to Good Day OK. I'm Jameson Keefover. Thank you so much for starting your 2023 with us. And 2023 is also bringing some pretty good weather. Let's get right over to Elliot Wilson for your forecast. Yeah, it feels like we're in a bit of a tropical environment this morning because it is fairly muggy and warm out there. We got a stalled frontal boundary that basically runs along I-44. Got some clouds off to the west this morning. Couple of showers in the panhandle. We'll see these expand more as they move eastward going throughout mainly uh, this afternoon. But look at that stall frontal boundary. It's brought a uh, quite a bit of variability in our temperatures. We're in the 30s and 40s off to the west near and south of I-44. We got temperatures in the uh, 50s and even 60s in some of our southeastern counties this morning. But we do have some fog out there. This is something you will want to be paying close attention to as you head throughout the morning because this fog is going to be with us most of the morning. Very low visibilities in and around the metro right now down to the southeast. We're seeing some low visibilities as well, but in and around the metro. That's where our lowest visibility uh, visibilities are right now. So be mindful of this as you head out the door this morning. Showers and storms as you head throughout the afternoon. Some of them could be on the strong side, but after today, the weather's going to be nice and quiet as you head throughout the rest of the week. Once we get to midday, we'll start to see some rain move in from the west, but not really until about one to two o'clock. Will this start to move into the metro area after two o'clock? That's where the chances for stronger storms will come into play. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes. Let's get a bike fast steer clear traffic update. Happy six o'clock hour on your first Monday back to work. We definitely want to let you know that things are picking up on those roadways. We do have a crash count of two. This first one being at I 40 eastbound at Mustang Road in Canadian County. Again, this isn't causing any major delays just because there's not a whole lot of drivers on the roadways, but you still want to give crews time to get that cleaned up and you can take the service road as a nice detour option. Next accident that we have Northwest 23rd Street at Meridian Avenue. This is an injury accident. This is an area that we frequently have troubles with. So of course we'll give you some good detours coming up here. Your bike pass steer clear traffic cameras looking at near I 40 in May. You can barely make it out because of all of that. Just I don't even know like water on the camera, but that's OK. It looks like a smooth commute here, guys. Never wait more than 10 minutes for your traffic and weather together. We've got your back this morning with a reminder that city offices for the city of Oklahoma City are closed today, along with municipal court and household hazardous waste collection center. There's no trash and recycling collection. The makeup day is Wednesday. The Embark bus and OKC streetcars are regular schedules running just smoothly and OKC parks, rec centers, gyms, senior centers and pools are also closed. And the city of Edmond city offices are closed today. CityLink Edmond buses won't run. They'll resume regular routes tomorrow. Trash and recycling will be collected normally. And city of Norman's administrative offices are closed. They'll reopen tomorrow. The Norman Police Department's Administrative Division, Investigation Center, Records Division, and Animal Welfare are closed. Trash collection will happen normally. This week, crews will also pick up extra holiday trash like wrapping paper or boxes for Norman utility customers. And happening today, the new year also means new laws are taking effect in Oklahoma. Victor Park joins us live from the Capitol with how one law could affect those who sell items online. Victor. That's right. Good morning there, Jameson. So we are talking about Senate Bill 418. Now, this is also known as the Oklahoma Inform Act, and it basically says that any online seller must make sure that a third party seller uh, is authentic. Now, this is supposed to crack down on those people who try to sell fake or stolen goods online. But if the uh, seller does not confirm or fails to confirm the product's authenticity, the store could face fines. Also, House Bill 3365, this one aims at preventing voter fraud. It says voter registration can be canceled if you get issued a driver's license in another state. The law also says voters who have the same address as five or more other registered voters will receive a letter from the state to confirm their address. Now, another law that goes into effect is House Bill 1933. It cuts the length of unemployment benefits down from 26 weeks to 16 weeks. This is a bill business groups have argued will help address workforce shortages. 
Senate Bill 1339 deals with sales taxes. It modifies language to have sales tax not just on tangible goods, but also services. And House Bill 3066 requires municipal courts to report criminal history information to the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation. Now, we do have a full list of these laws and the details on it. That's on our website, okcfox.com. The next legislation uh, begins on February. We'll send it back to you. Thanks, Victor. Well, along those lines, sport betting could be coming to Oklahoma. State Representative Ken Luttrell proposed a bill making sports betting legal, legal across the state as well as within tribal casinos. Luttrell proposed a similar bill last session, but it failed. And he says the current bill incorporates tribal gaming on a sliding scale. It would allow sports betting with no regulations on gaming institutions they partner with and ask for a small fee depending on how much. Now, Oklahoma City police investigating a shooting early Sunday morning that killed one and hurt three. This happened near Fassler Hall on Northwest 10th and Hudson. Oklahoma City dispatch received several calls around 1220 a.m. When police arrived, they found one man dead and three people with gunshot wounds. The victims were taken to the hospital. It's very disheartening. I mean, it's 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 sad that people, you know, can't go out and, and, and have a good time, you know, without having to worry about something like this happening. But unfortunately, it appears to be the world we're living in today. Police haven't released any details about the man who died. Investigators are still trying to identify the shooter, and we're expecting more information tomorrow. Stay tuned with Fox 25 for updates. We've got your back with an Edmond Road closure. Tomorrow, part of Kelly Avenue will be narrowed to one lane in each direction. Crews will be installing sewer lines between Edmond Road and West 1st Street. They hope to have the project wrapped up in 10 days. The Oklahoma City Council will meet tomorrow morning at 830. City Council members will discuss authorizing the submission of an application for federal funds for projects addressing homelessness. They'll also discuss several street resurfacing projects for areas including West Hefner Road from North Council to North Rockwell and from North Morgan Road to West Britain and West Hefner. And there will also be time for public comment. And you have a chance to share your input on upcoming Maps for Park projects. The next Maps for Park opens, open house happens next Tuesday, January 10th from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Will Rogers Garden near Northwest 36th in Grand Boulevard. The open house will focus on Group D parks, which includes Belle Isle Park on Northwest 15th and Mark Twain Park on Northwest 1st. And happening Wednesday, a family will celebrate the dedication of their new Central Oklahoma Habitat for Humanity house. Fox 25 volunteers helped build the house with Habitat staff. This is the sixth year Fox 25 has helped build a Habitat for Humanity house, and the dedication happens at 2 p.m. Stay with Fox 25 for updates. Now to your sports. Some good news for OU football defense tackle Isaiah Coe. He announced he's coming back for another season instead of declaring for the NFL draft. Coe announced his return on social media over the weekend saying, quote, start off unknown, finish unforgettable. Coe finished the regular season with two sacks and added one in the Cheez-Its Bowl.